Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to get date night ready. I'm going to try to do a full cut crease today. I've never really done one, so we're going to see how it turns out. Um, I'm going to be using the 39L Hit the Lights palette. And let me just open it up and show you all the gorgeous colors that are in here. So here's the palette. I'm going to start panning so you can see all of the shades. This is a gorgeous palette. I'm thinking about doing like a burgundy with a silver glitter cut crease. How do we feel about that? So, to start off always, um, we're going to moisturize our face. Today I'm going to be using the It Confidence in a Cream Compact. And I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> um, it's really creamy. I love this. It soaks into the skin really well. And you don't need a lot of it. This is kind of expensive, but luckily I got this in my BoxyCharm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to moisturize. Okay, so now that I have moisturized my face and it's good and moisturized, ready to go, what I'm going to do is prime my eyes. And today I'm going to be trying the Kat Von D Shake. Um, eyeshadow primer. I've never tried this before, so we're going to be trying it together. Um, I'm doing a vlog this weekend as well, so hopefully um, in the vlog I can show you guys what it's like. Um, but let's talk about this concept. This is such a cute little bottle, and I just think it is just so adorable. And Kat Von D, you know, you know that's my girl. Uh, don't know her, but you know. <laughs> We can always pretend. Right? Right. So, um, I'm going to read the instructions on how to do this, and then I'm just going to prime my eyelids. Okay, so the instructions on this says to shake well to mix, remove cap, press button on bottom of the bottle to dispense one drop, use finger to blend onto lids, let dry a few seconds before applying eyeshadow. So, I have shaken it up, and I'm just going to rub this on the lids. Okay, so now that I have primed the eyelids, I'm going to go in with my 39L palette, and I'm going to go, let me look at the color names. I'm going to go in with, ooh, I think it's called Makeout Sesh. Nope, that's the wrong shade. I'm going to go in with this color, My Type, right here, and I'm going to set my eyelids just using... A fluffy brush this is the Farrah 35 e brush just a nice fluffy brush to set the primer all right so now that I have my primer set and I do have to say it kind of went smooth um, I'm gonna open up this palette we're gonna go in with you know I just read these names and I already forgot them shade serve looks and I'm going to put it all in my crease now I do have hooded eyes so I'm gonna go a little bit above the crease you know that jam for hooded eye fellas and ladies and I'm just gonna be using my morphe blending brush Okay, now that I look a little wild, I'm just going to trust the process on this one. Um, never done a full cut crease before, I don't think. I might mix daring and hot stuff together and put it right under the crease to kind of pop it and blend it in. So, let's go. And I did forget to say, I'm using a smaller Morphe blending brush, a more defined blending brush, to do this step. Alright, now I'm going to 
to cut the crease and I'm just going to be using this Hey Honey Trick and Treat Concealer in light to medium and I'm just going to be using my Alomar Cosmetics flat brush and cut the crease all the way across. Wish me luck. trust this um, I'm gonna go in next with some glitter I do believe we're gonna use what's in this palette um, we're gonna do love bomb which is this nice silver glitter well first we're gonna use hot date which is right here and then on top of it we're gonna do um, this one we might use some glitter glue so I'm gonna go ahead and take just a packing brush and pack this hot date color where the concealer's at. Now I'm gonna take my duo eyelash adhesive and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then tap it right where the crease color, I mean the lid color is on that cut crease. And then we're gonna apply the glitter, which is, let me get my little cheat sheet out, is in Love Balm and we're just gonna tap it with our finger over that color. Okay, so now that I've covered most of the surface area with my finger, I'm going to go in with just a concealer brush and tap that in and get a really defined cut crease. Alright, now I'm going to proceed off camera doing the exact same thing that I just did over here on this eye. All right, now since I'm just a little bit extra and this is reminding me of Christmas, it's giving me really Christmas vibes, I'm going to go in with that gold glitter that's in the same palette right up above called Flirt Alert and I'm just going to add it just sparsely in to give this silver glitter a little bit of dimension. So I'm just going to be taking this BH Cosmetics 105 brush and going in that color Beam, which is just a highlighty shade out of that palette. And I'm going to pop it in the inner corner, um, blending up into that reddy burgundy color. And... Alright, so now that we're done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that highlight shade and color right under my brow bone, blend it into that red with a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to be using the same shader brush that I used to pack on that silver color. We're going to use the same beam color that we had here. Knock off any of the extra And we're just going to blend it to make it all seamlessly flow together. Now, like I said, I've never done this cut crease before, so I'm trusting the process here. Um, it looks kind of weird, I guess, where I've never seen it on myself like this before, but I can dig it. For the holidays especially, I can dig it. Now that I have done that, I think I'm going to wipe under my eyes with just a makeup wipe. Um, being sure to follow that line that goes up on both sides. Getting kind of close. Now is going to be the tedious part before we go and do any touch-ups with this. Um, it's going to be kind of hard. So... I'm going to blend out this color right here just a little bit more. I'm not really happy with it. 
Um, I'm going to take what's left on my brush that I use for those darker red colors and just kind of going through there and kind of making it look like what I want to because I wasn't very happy with that. I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie. I might need to soften out the brow bone highlight though. And I'm definitely going to have to do something with these brows a little bit later. So right now I'm going to take the time to do my eyeliner. Uh, we'll fast forward through this part because I don't know how long it's going to take. Okay, so now while I'm letting that dry, I'm just going to go up with another face wipe and clean up the extra. And I hope my battery doesn't die because I still have to do my face. Alright, so before I do anything else on the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do the face. I'm going to prime my face using the No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul. Um, I think this is a brand by ColourPop, but I really like this primer. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and kind of put this war paint all over the place. And I'm going to blend all of this out with a beauty blender that I got at the Dollar Tree that I really, really like. All right, now that we have done the foundation, roughly, I'm going to go in with my... Hey Honey Trick and Treat Concealer and I'm going to take that same concealer brush if I can find it. I can't so we're just going to use this eyeliner concealer brush and once again put it on the back of your hand and I use like that V motion and you're just going to put the concealer where you want to highlight on your face like that and then your under bags, whatever you want to do with those. I might need a little bit more. And the reason I put it further down on my cheeks is because I have a lot of redness on my cheeks. Um, like just uneven pigmentation. Like just redness. It's not big of a deal. So I'm going to take the tip of that beauty blender and I'm going to just blend all this out. Now I'm going to take the iHeart Revolution baking powder in coconut. I love the way this smells. And I'm going to take a dry beauty blender. This is a Real Techniques one that's got that um, bevel divot thing-ish. And... I'm going to put it under my eyes and bake. Okay, using the Aesthetica bronzer in the color bronzer, I'm going to bronze both sides. I'm also going to use the blush. It's an Ofra blush in the color Sweet Stuff. And the Ofra highlighter in Glazed Donut. I'm going to use all of these and then I'm going to come right back because my battery's really wanting to die. Next, I'm going to use the Iconic London Eyebrow Palette. And I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows um, using this product. Nothing too spontaneous, but I used all those face products. All right, now I'm going to use this Lash Princess Mascara as well as this Real Her eyeliner on the waterline and the tightline. I'm also going to be using these So Wispy Kiss lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera, do that, put on some lipstick, and then I'll be back to close out this video. All right, guys. So the look is complete. My camera did die, so I'm filming the outro on my camera. I mean, on my phone. But I hope you guys liked it. It was kind of easy, kind of not. I don't know how I feel. I'm going to try to take some pictures of it to put with this and yeah so if you did like please like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell that way you get notified every time i upload a new video and like i always say till next time stay cool and be you bye